Hello folks, this is our last video of this playthrough. This is for all the marbles. What we're gonna do is we're going to use one third of umbilical cord. Here we go. We're gonna use all three. We are going to take on Garmin and Moon Presence. I absolutely love the Garmin fight. Um, so I'll just, not that I really need these. I'm sorry, I don't believe I'll be doing NG plus on this character, but there will be more Bloodborne, I promise. Okay, so we use those one third umbilical cords, and I'm sorry Gammon, but we are going to refuse your offer. Um, he would put us out of our misery, and, um, uh, and let us be freed for the night. But we're gonna fight Gearman and then the secret boss moon presence. Good hunter, you've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. You will die, forget the dream, and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. Dear, oh dear, what was it? The hunt, the blood, or the horrible dream? Oh, it doesn't matter. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Tonight, Gammon joins the hunt. Chills down your spine with that one. Absolutely adore this fight, this entire game. This fight really sums up what Bloodborne is. No, I don't want to sound too loud for you guys, so. Thank you so much for joining me here. The, the fight isn't over yet. Get a good visceral attack in there. I'm sorry to do this to you, Garman. The one thing that makes this fight a lot easier is parrying. This fight is still a challenge for me. Um. But, uh. At least for the later phase. Where he becomes a lot quicker and he transforms his weapon. You just have to love the music and just appreciate how beautiful this game is. And as you can see, I'm not on my A game. And I just awe oh, this game. It's just so beautiful in every way. Okay, now we're gonna, I'm gonna have a bit more trouble here because uh, I have a lot more trouble parrying him. Here we go. And I still couldn't get one in there. Then after this, uh, I'm just gonna have it all in one video, Moon Presence. Uh, Game of Moon Presence. So, I hope that's fine by you. Sorry, Gearman. I'm gonna use beast with pellet in my bolt paper. And then when he does that, you just wanna back right up. Okay. You just have to appreciate. And I know I'm gonna I may take damage. Oh, and I was killed instantly. Round two, Garman. Okay. Now when I come up here I'm gonna use my beast web pellet. Bold paper. Visceral attack him. Oh, should have backed up a little bit there. Instead of going in for that heavy attack. Visceral attack. There we go. 
I remember staying up till about 4 a.m. trying to beat him the first time. And I loved it. Visceral attack. Here we go. Now. Try not to get killed by his the next part, uh, his next phase. But try to get one attack in and then back up. Not get killed instantly. There we go. Get a decent visceral attack in. Visceral attack. Sorry, Gearman. Ooh, gotta be careful of that because she can instantly parry and visceral attack us. I'm sorry to do this to you, Gearman. Time to end it all. Now this, I know a lot of people don't really like Moon Presence, but I, uh, well, specifically for the reasons of its attacks. Uh, they're very unpredictable. Round two Moon Presence. Beast by Pellet and Full Paper. Have to be very careful. I I love this fight a lot. Now, I of course I have a lot of trouble with it, and uh, uh, and of course a lot of people don't like it because of well, not the lore behind it, but because of the actual gameplay of it. Its attacks are very unpredictable, and the camera is a bit strange. And then it can instantly remove, upset your health to literally one, which is understandable to be upset about, but just the fact that you're fighting this beast is my favorite part about it, honestly. You can actually get most of your health back. And I healed un unnecessarily there. That's okay. Um, and our last boss Are you cold? Hunter. Absolutely beautiful game. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for being with me through this playthrough. It's my favorite game, period. Now this won't be the end of Bloodborne, as I'm going to attempt speed runs, uh, other types of runs, and uh, and I will be streaming as well sometime soon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you enjoyed, of course, um, make sure to leave a like. 
if you'd like to see more, subscribe. I'm going to be having a lot more coming out. And then I've got, if you haven't already, I have a whole Bloodborne playlist. All of the videos before this one are all ready for you. Um, and I'd love to hear any feedback in the comments or other games I should play. And just this game is so amazing. It's been an amazing journey playing with you. Um, trying to explain the bosses even when I did bad. And from the start, I didn't think it, I didn't think it would be more of a walkthrough. It was more just me playing. Um, but then, kind of, after a couple of episodes, I wanted it to be more of a walkthrough for you. So I hope this has been a help for you. And this game is just so gorgeous. From game design, level design, boss design, character design, uh, music. I mean, you can hear in the background just how terrifyingly beautiful it is. So we fought every boss. Uh, there was Claret Beast, Gas Coin, Bloodstar Beast, Amelia, Witch of Hemwick, Shadows of Yarnum, Rom, The One Reborn, Miko Lash, Mirko's Wet Nurse, Sherlock's Emissary, Ebrietta, uh, Ligarius, um, Amygdala, Dark Beast Parl, and then for the DLC, there was Ludwig, Lawrence, Living Failures, Lady Maria, Orphan of Cause, and then now, Gehrman, and Moon Presence. And this has just been insanely fun. I'm sorry for things that I missed. Uh, it's very, um, it's very difficult to, uh, it's very difficult to share every piece of the game and not have it go real slow so but there are people uh there are plenty of people that share a lot um there i will link you in the description there's a youtube channel called hey zeus here's toast and he is doing a uh definitive bloodborne playthrough of lore uh for the lore and he he's on his second episode and they're very enjoyable so i'll link him in the, the description um and then, of course, my good friend Joe McCo Gaming. I will link him in the description, as always. Uh, he he has an amazing Blood, Bloodborne playthrough, and he has a. Uh, you can really see. Uh, it's really nice to see how people play the game different, and and um, that's what that's mi the main reason that I did this in the first place because you could easily just go and watch someone else play this uh, like PewDiePie or the Game Grumps or something but if you want to see how someone else does it then maybe you'd enjoy how I do it and I could enjoy how you do it um, and uh, I love and the first episode I named anyone's take because anyone's take on a game it's gonna be a different playthrough no matter what no matter how similar each time you play a game it's gonna be different uh, to the player for every time the player uh, beats the game and how that person will play it versus another person and that's what I love about video games and Bloodborne specifically because Bloodborne's level design or overall game design is centered around that and no ga no playthrough no matter how similar is going to be completely perfectly the same and uh, and that that's what's so amazing about it. Bloodborne's got so many amazing, interesting characters. The lore is amazing. The boss and level design is just phenomenal. And I just really appreciate you uh, for for being here and watching this with me. Um, and it's just been so fun. Well. There will be more Bloodborne. This this may be the end of this playthrough, the end of an era, but this isn't the end of Bloodborne. So I'll see you again soon. Stay tuned. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is some Bloodborne streams, um, and then possibly maybe try some Dark Souls 3. And but I mean, leave your feedback in the description. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, in the comments because I'd love to hear. Well, thank you for joining me for this, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you again very soon.